yeah good morning so two cars had left so yeah and there's some more trucks on the other side of the lot this is the spot this rest there always has people parked here we're under a flood warning here why oh no it's still under flooding it's 28 feet something i was i got the warning and all that um which I already knew. Hold on, I'm making tea. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have a croissant and tea. I actually dig it up at four, but I decided to sit and wait. I mean, I got two other campers down. They're not even up yet. <laughs> um, I don't even know what time it is right now. I think it's going on seven. I've been up since four just sitting here and I was looking at the free campsites, looking, uh, trying to figure out the next uh, route and stuff tomorrow the lake that we're going to be on today is under a uh, severe thunderstorm for tomorrow possible tornadoes this is why I didn't want to stay in Arkansas <laughs> um I'm assuming this is it man this doesn't even look Oh, there's a camper down here. Tents. Shit. There's your toilets. There's a truck down here. Oh, there's a camper down here. There's two people down here. Let me see. Is there a space for a third? Let me see. That's why I was saying, these, you never know. He's got that spot. There's one there. I think he's... I don't really want to... I don't really want to take that. Pretty overlooking that lake. I actually can just park right here personally and take this spot right here. And I'm doing it right here. We're taking this spot. Let me get out and show y'all. Yeah, we're not doing fires. Oh, I'm just looking to see. Let me get Gypsy out. Come on. I'll walk you down here for a minute. I want to set my shower up. Because I am taking a shower. I guess I'll just set the shower right here. I'll set the shower up right here in between the tree and the table. And then I can put my stove out here, heat my water. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll tie her up here to the table while I'm out here, right? We'll be all right. That was our view. Left my door open. There's some flowers for you guys. Hmm. Yeah, we can come down here and I can come down here and sit by the water for a little bit tonight. Yeah, I think so. I can bring my cushion down here for my that I sit on when I drive. Yeah, there's our view.
show you the inside. That's all. So I'll go in. I got my mat. I have a mat I can put down in the van to stand on so it's not so muddy. And then I, what I'll do is, oh my gosh, <laughs> tripped over that. Um, I'll set my bucket out here, put my clothes on it out here, dry clothes, and my towel. And then I can reach out, grab what I need. That's what I was doing at the other camp. So. Let's uh, put this back up in the van. I'm go. I got the stove out, so I'm gonna start heating up water because this is the first priority. And she's chilling out good. All right. Okay. Let's check the stove really fast. I don't know how much longer we'll have because that is not good. That's low <sighs> because we have so much overcast. I don't really need the refrigerator. Oh, I need to fix this. My thing popped off. I had my <laughs> I had my toilet paper sitting like that, and it popped off, and everything flew out. And I'm like, okay. I don't think I can get close. Maybe. I don't know if it's going to stay. It's a mess back here. Alright, well. Let's put the bag. This sits up here. Let's get our pump going. Oh, I need the bucket. She just drank a whole bowl of water. I'm not going to give her no more right now. Okay, well, I need the bucket. And then I got to pick out some clothes. Oh, we need this first. Here it is. Here's my mat. It's a bamboo mat. All right, let's put that in there first. Oh, she, did she poop over here again? But I see some that I don't want laying here. An old, nasty, mold dog bone. Is there a garbage can? Oh, hello. I don't see any garbage cans. Well, gotta go up there because I don't want that down here. So, let's set that in here. That's another thing I'm going to have to make sure I go look for water to refill that jug. They don't have water here. So when we get on the road, that's, we got to find water spigot somewhere. Come on. Sorry, y'all, but this is the reality of my life. I'm not washing hair today. Just my body, so that should do. Let that heat up. Find some clothes. Here's the towel. I'm gonna put my bucket down there. Um, just hope that forest fire thing is just contained over there. Just concerns me a little bit. Not, I'm not 100% concerned, but.
sock goes in here. I need the bucket down here. Ow. And my shower stuff. So I'll pour the last time I just did it out of there. And I'll probably just do that. Same thing. Um, I'll probably just drop this down in there. Um, normally I would pour it in this bag. But I hope that's enough water. Now I better pour some more in there. The problem with this is it gets down so low and then it can't suck it up. So actually, it's only going to give me like that much water. So I better pour some more. Um, now, nah. last time I ended up the, butt, the pot and I just poured it on me. So it didn't get wasted. So we'll just do it at the same. Okay, I'm going to go grab some clothes. And... Um, yeah, for this, I'm going to start cooking. Trying to clean. <sighs> Mess. I haven't invested in a little shop back because <laughs> those little handbags. I just don't think, do they really work good? Because I've seen some that were just were so chintzy, I just don't think they work good on it. I'm going to waste my money. But, I'm trying to clean this up. I'm waiting for my water to cool down. I overheated it. It's too hot. Oh, scald myself. So, I decided to do this right now. I told you, van life is filthy. Um, at Christine's, I had a shop back, and I would jump in and use the shop back, of course. But out, out here, in the bush, <laughs> um, I don't have any options right now besides my little brush here and wipes to try and clean this up. Help me if you have an idea or solution. If you want to send me a shop at a little hand pack, <laughs> we can ship it to uh, Christine's. Eventually, I, I well, the only time I plan to go back up there is when I have an RV. I didn't, I didn't make any plans to go back um, to get the rest of my stuff out of her house, and I can't fit that stuff in here. But I pretty sure I can fit it in an RV. Um, so that's not going, I, I don't have any plans of going back up north until that time. And it's only to go up there to go pick up stuff. So now if I have something shipped, I guess we'll have to figure that, have to figure out an address where to ship it. Or shipping. Right now I don't have nothing. And I won't have that. Um, mailbox thingy until I go to South Dakota. And then I'll have a temporary mailbox up there when I change residence where items will be able to get shipped. I'm kind of excited for uh, going to South Dakota though, to be honest with you. I'm really curious to see if South Dakota is a potential for me to actually stay within that area I mean for summer months it might be I don't know because I was actually thinking about because I know Sturgis is going to have that big bike week that they have up there and I was actually thinking about checking in to see if I could be a vendor somewhere up there to set up during the bike week so um, I, I'm starting to think about things like that where could I 
band at events. I know they have the Hippie Fest, but that one, I think that one is pre-booked up until September. And the September show, I think, is in Michigan. I have no ambition to go, no, because in September I'm heading back down to Arizona for winter. So, Hippie Fest is out. Because I think the rest of the shows are probably booked up this year for them. I have to get on there. If anybody knows any other like traveling fairs and events that I could potentially set up, let me know, guys. I'm I'm looking to set up as a vent vending as a vendor. Um, Well, I can only get so much up. I just have to wait till I go to the car. Let's say car wash because I just went to the car wash and I'm not going back to the car wash right now. That'll work. At least I got the bulk of it up. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh, I might as well pull out my pans. I gotta fix the computer here. It got shifted around in here. Pull me down that. I knew that was gonna happen. I'd like to find another spot for this computer. I used to set it over here, but my printer and that's over there, and that's where it sits permanently. Um, I might check into setting this. I might pull this out and see if it'll slide back here. And then I can move this stuff. I, yeah, it's all about rearranging or see. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if it'll fit back better back there after I get my shower and cook. <laughs> Maybe I might have to do it now because I don't know how long. Oh boy. Um, I got to fry the hamburger, cook the sloppy joe. So let me. We're going to need this pot down here, not not that frying pan. Coffee. I gotta wash my cup. Oh my god, yeah, I gotta wash all this stuff out. Now that I'm down here. I gotta wipe all this out. I'm gonna do all that tonight. We need this guy to cook in. Gotta go rinse him out. I gotta climb back here and get the meat. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Gonna make our sloppy joes. Look at that. That's our view. At least for tonight. I'm rearranging, cleaning out the van again. Um, I just moved this stuff around. I put my computer behind there. So Gypsy will have a little bit more room. The only thing that's in here is the toilet bucket. But I'm gonna shake out all this, take my broom, try to sweep all this up before I put her blankets. All oh, this back in there. Yep. Clean the toilet. It's in the sun getting sanitized. All right. I am giving her a little bit of this. Because I don't need all that. I got to drain that. She's gonna be a happy girl. Look here, you want to get in the vanity? She don't like the bugs. Come on, come on. They chase her. We got there's some big bugs down here that's been after her. <laughs> She's been staying in the van. Oh my god, y'all! It's a hard time taking down my my uh, shower tent. I took a shower and I took it down because that storm's coming. I was like, well. I'm take it down because I don't know when if the storm is going to come in and what time and I didn't want to take it down wet and I have a hard time taking it down as it is. It took me about 15 minutes to get that thing. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to fold it up. It's one of them portable it, they bend and the wires and I <sighs> but 
Look at that. That is so pretty. I got some crows that's been hanging with me out here. It is hot. Very hot today. I got back another black butterfly that down. Mary Weather was with me. Hey, get away. Ooh, these flies are after my food. I don't know. I gotta go finish this up. <laughs>